in a very real way, people's lives have been lost doing this over job. Over the years, yeah. yeah so we've we've lots. lost lots of, uh, you know, friends over the years, and it's just the it's way of life. High, it's a high-risk job, the most dangerous job in the world. What do you think people, when they're sitting down to a, a crab dinner, what do you think they don't realize about what went into getting that on their plate? Blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> yeah, that went into don't, it. That's one thing this show's gonna show, what ha, what it takes to get that crab on, on the plate. And it's, it's a lot more into it than I think people realize. What on earth would compel two people to do one of the most dangerous jobs on earth? We're from Newport. It's that's just what you do when you're, you know, in that town. It kind of born and raised and grew up there and just fell into it. Did you talk about it when you were a kid with your dad? Yeah, I mean, I was, you know, born, son of a fisherman my whole life, and so I was on the boats at a very early age. And here we are. Well, he got in trouble, and I made him go fishing. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. It was a punishment growing up. Well, the first time I went on the ocean, I was like 10, 11, and I got really, really seasick. And I decided at that point in time, I wasn't going to be a fisherman. Well, then I got in trouble in school, and he told me, you know, straighten, sh up. straighten up, you're going fishing. Yeah, right. And so my and punishment. Sit on the couch. Yeah, so my punishment TV. was to, to go fishing and puke my guts out for a whole summer. And Did it work? Do you think yeah. it worked? Did he straighten oh, yeah. up from yeah, the fishing yeah, trips? I mean, I think it was a life-changing moment for him, actually. We get to see a lot of it unfold on the show, but behind the scenes, do you two get along all the time? How does oh, yeah, it work? Oh yeah, we're just peachy. Yeah, yeah. All the time. <laughs> and I'm not gonna be very happy if I gotta pick up your slack. All right, bye. We, we, we butt heads, there's, you know, we, we have- What's been the biggest argument? Uh, well, probably the time that I quit him and, and went and worked for uh, the Excalibur for four years. Yeah, would probably the competition. Be, yeah, that would probably be the, the, the biggest one that happened. So, what, what happened traitor. there? Traitor. I mean, <laughs> well, that, I mean, most people, this, this is kind of like the makings of a, a soap opera, yeah. right? You, you, you <laughs> we don't think of it that way, your but. Your family business and you go and work, not, not just somewhere else, for the competition. They're, they're friends of ours. They're just, they're friendly competition. But you we know? like to beat them too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what made you come back? He called me up and he, he wants to start, you know, limiting his time on the ocean, getting, getting a little, away from it a little bit more. And so he called me up and asked me, well, pretty much told me, either you come back to work for me or I'm just gonna sell the business. Mm. So I came back to work. What is it about this business? I mean, I, I get it, it's a family thing. You've been doing this for your whole life and so many people from your town have been doing this for your whole life. But for the person who's the outside looking in, who's watched the show and sees th this is backbreaking work, the pots are 125 pounds a piece, as much as 120, yeah, the thing you, you pulled up. Yeah. It's not for the faint of heart. And in a very real way, people's lives have been lost doing this over job. Over the years, yeah. yeah so we've we've lots. lost lots of, uh, you know, friends over the years. And, and it's it's typical for us to, you know, lose one or two or more guys uh, a crab season. That's unbelievable. It's just the it's way a of life. High, it's a high risk job most dangerous job in the world. I, I looked it up and it is truly the most dangerous <laughs> job in the world. Wow. What is the money part of it? I, I think it's not, it's money is obviously a, a driving force, but uh, it's, it's a lifestyle. Once you do it, you're either hooked or you run away from it as fast as you can. How much money are we talking about? Crew members can, can net anywhere from on an average year, you know, Ten to fifteen thousand on a good year working on the deck of his boat is, have made as much as a uh, fifty thousand in fifty thousand dollars for, crab. for crabs in, in about a month. My guys this year made like thirty, six weeks. But I mean, if you work for me on the Western Breeze year round, you're going to push close to six figures. What's the biggest business lesson you've learned from the work? You know, hard work pays uh, off. Pays off. Mm. That's a bit. You know, in this business, you truly what you get into it, you know, what you put in is what you get out if you're on the right boat and the right timing and everything clicks just right and everything happens good, it can be really good. Is there a right or sort of a, a set of characteristics that would make someone successful at your job? You have to have a good work ethic. You have to, you know, be willing to push yourself to, to a... Self-driven. Yeah, self-driven. You, you have, have to, to be, be willing to push yourself to the breaking point and then beyond the breaking point. Strong stomach? Yes, yes. <laughs> What's the most dangerous situation you found yourself in? There's been several over the years. It's kind of tough to, you know, pick 
one necessarily, but but the bar is is, is where you're gonna probably run into your most dangerous Describe situations. Describe the bar for people who aren't familiar with it. Well, the bar is a stretch of water that we have to navigate to actually get out to the grounds to go fishing. And it's it's the mouth of a river, pretty much is what it is. And it goes out into the ocean. So you've got the it's mouth a pile of rocks. And there's, you know, rocks on each side of you. And so you have to navigate this stretch of water and you've got water coming out, you know, from the river and then water coming in from the ocean, meeting the swells and they hit each other and it stands the swells up. For people who are just the average person getting out on the water, do you have advice for how to navigate through rough waters? Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs>